Hello there, everybody. This is Seawathplan1 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. So, last time, we explored Seven Island. I guess. And now, with some training under my belt, I have these guys. These three Pokemon are going to be my main, my main guys for these next few videos, or this next video, until until I get everyone to about level 70 or something or whatever, I don't even care. Also, since we're going over there, I prepared accordingly for this sort of situation. For I have this many Pokeballs. I'm sure I'll be greatly prepared, right? So, now let's not, let's not waste any more time and just go right into it, shall we? In order to reach this thing, you need to go over here to Route 24, You'll need to use Surf here, obviously. And I obviously need to use Max Repels. Because, obviously, I need them. And I don't have any other Heliums. Great. I can only rely on Revives and shit. Heh. <laughs> Whatever, I have Charizard. I'll take... It'll be no problem at all, really. And no, you can't go over there, alright. Um, if you're actually curious... There is actually a trainer you can fight over here. Come on. Yep, yep, there's a trainer over there that you can fight. So, let's go over here to Cerulean Cave. In the original game, it was the final dungeon of the game. Or at least the only post-game thing you can do. But of course, this is Pokemon Leaf Green, so obviously they had to change ac accordingly. So anyway, in Cerulean Cave, you can find not only your abundance of items here that are really good, but you can also find your abundance of wild Pokemon that are extremely high leveled here for, for, for whatever reason. And of course, the happy Cerulean bike theme or whatever is playing in the background while we're doing so. Oh yeah, and one thing that they did change here is that you do indeed need Rock Smash in order to progress onward through, uh, the things. Because you need Rock Smash, and such. And either way, Geodude is not one of those Pokemon <clears throat> that are high level that you can encounter here. We'll actually be running into them right about here. So, Cerulean Cave is home to many high leveled wild Pokemon, such as Machoke, Ale or, not Alakazam, uh, Kadabra, I do believe... No, not Gloom, because Gloom was in yellow. Uh... Yeah, Gloom was in yellow. And a whole bunch of other Pokemon that are very powerful indeed. And look at that! Wobbuffet! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, Wobbuffet's here, actually. Wobbuffet is basically classified as an uber Pokemon. Why is it uber? Because it only has four moves that it can possibly learn. Counter... Mirror Coat, another move, and another move. Or Destiny Bond, yeah. Destiny Bond, yeah. S and I forget what the third move is, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I co totally forget. And, of course, yeah, uh, Shadow Tech prevents me from switching and keep on forgetting that! <laughs> so, yeah, I had to kill this thing, and Volcano has to be taken down with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Freaking Shadow Tag. I wish this was later generation, so flying types won't be affected whatsoever, but of course this isn't. This isn't like all the other games. No, it isn't. Mm. But anyway, uh, there are some other Pokemon you can find here, aside from Machoke and Wobbuffet, such as another Machoke, apparently. No, as you progress further on, further on through the uh, Cerulean Cave, you will be able to find other varieties of Pokemon as well. And I'm turning down my volume because I'm turning down my volume. And I actually need to use another Max Repel because these encounters are going to get kind of sort of annoying. And am I already at the end? Seriously? Huh. Honestly, I thought I was taking the right way, but apparently I think I am. Hmm. Anyway, I do... <clears throat> I think I might as well show you what kinds of Pokemon you can find here in this area, because this is the area in which 
in which the strongest Pokemon in Cerulean Cave lie. And of course, all those other paths lead to items and such, and pretty much other varieties of wild Pokemon that you can encounter here as well. But this area right here is where you can find Wild Ditto. And pretty high-leveled Wild Ditto at that. And I didn't even mention Ditto, actually. Ditto is a Pokemon that is unique because it has the ability to learn the move Trent. It has the move Transform, which will transform you into, in, which will transform Ditto into the opponent Pokemon. It will copy all its moves and stats as well. However, the thing that kind of sucks about Transform is that, well. You copy all the moves and everything, but you only have 5 PP for every single move. Which ca- Oh my god! 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 Uh, Kadabra. Kadabra. Uh, run away. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? This is the kind of high level that you can find- High level stuff that you can find here. Like that level 67 Kadabra, apparently. <laughs> oh god. That was, that was, that was trippy. Okay, not really trippy, but still, it was, oh my god. It was, oh my god. Just saying. <laughs> but yeah, that's the sort of, that's the kind of sort of horror that the Cerulean Cave has in its belt. However, if you know this place well enough, there is another horror that is available to me. This thing right here. Not so much in Gen 1, but in Gen 3. Ugh. Shoot me. Shoot me now, because I will succumb to this. To the system of catching that this game is widely known for. For. Hmm. Anyway, I'm kind of thinking about freezing this thing, so maybe Ice Beam will do its trick. So... I am going to save my game, and I will be proud of it, because I won't be so proud of it when I take a dozen hours to try to catch this thing. Alright, let's do it. Let's just get on with it. You're not Mew. This is Mewtwo. The original most powerful Pokemon ever, until the god of all Pokemon came along and decided to say, Hey! I'M THE MOST POWERFUL POKEMON BIATCH! <laughs> so, Mewtwo is extremely powerful in the special attack department. It has- Oh, Son of a bitch! Yeah, it has safeguard to make things more annoying if you want to inflict this thing- If you're trying to inflict this thing with status conditions and whatnot. Ah, <sighs> actually... I don't really know the moveset for Mewtwo really well here, I'm just don't. What I do know is that Psychic will hurt really badly because Mewtwo's special attack is amazing. And by amazing, I mean extremely hurty. Like that. Even at level 7, even with me being equal level up with Volcano, it still packs a wallop. Like seriously. But now I'm forced, now I'm actually forced to wait around until safeguard ends so that I can have a shot of catching this thing with a status ailment. The other thing that's kind of annoying, that is annoying about Mewtwo is, of course, its ability to use Recover. So, yeah, catching this thing is gonna be hell. Now, if you're thinking I'm gonna be using the Master Ball, hell no. I don't want to use this Master Ball unless I really, really need to. Or unless this battle takes forever in the day to do. And please write you survive this because yay! You freaking survived something! And now it's the time to start the inevitable catch rate system of the decade. Let's try a Pokeball, guys! Yeah, no, the broken Gen 1 catch system won't get me this time. And oh, you son of a beach! You beach of a beach. Yep. Yep, 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 legendaries with recover. It's bound to happen. It's freaking bound to happen. At one point or another, you're gonna run into that one legendary that will use recover, and it will suck. Hard. Like, ridiculously hard. 
Which is mainly why I want to paralyze this thing, just so that I can possibly have the chance to... ...to freaking make it fully paralyzed and not being able to attack for one turn. So that's one turn wasted for it. Yeah. And if you notice that Mewtwo's music, it has... It's a slightly different variation of the legendary Pokemon theme that apparently the legendaries now have, which is basically a pitched up version of uh, the Wild Battle theme. Yeah. And it's kind of cool that it added that down, no, 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 no thing, you know? Because it does all that crap and does it, does it, does it well. And can Mewtwo be fully paralyzed, please? I mean, I'm thankful that it doesn't have amnesia or barrier anymore. That would be that would be most problematic, but Jesus. This thing can get really, really annoying really, really fast. Unless you have like a Pokemon that is a good special wall. Or something. You know what? Idea. I have a dumb idea. It only I, it'll only work against Psychic though. But I'm going to use Sand Attack, because Swift never misses, so I'm going to lower its accuracy. And thankfully, now's the point in time in which in which it gets fully paralyzed, so that is pretty good. And again, I'm liking this luck. I am very liking this. I am very doing liking this luck. And of course, Mewtwo's an idiot and use Safeguard. Obviously. So now with four, I believe four, uh accuracy reductions. It still doesn't do crap against Recover, though, but hey, at least he, at least Mewtwo did something stupid. Like, not being able to attack us whatsoever. And of course, even with all those stat, even with all those accuracy reductions, it still managed to score a hit against Cry, and it fainted. Of course, it did. I mean, why the heck wouldn't I, wouldn't I have known this would work? Hmm. At least I can get it, I can get, um, da, da, dip, da, da, Swift's attack lowered, because it is normal type, and normal moves are apparently physical. Okay, thank you, you missed, alright. Now, I'm gonna do strength. Hopefully this won't kill it. And if it does kill it, then it doesn't kill, and it doesn't kill it. If it does, if it did kill it, then whoopsie doops! <laughs> yeah, this is kind of sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe, maybe, but not really establishing some kind of new rule I'm having in, I'm having in my Pokemon games nowadays, I don't know why I'm speaking with an accent, is that if I let a legendary struggle itself to death, then whoopsie doops, which is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Yeah, if you, yeah, if you couldn't really tell from my Pokemon Ruby Let's Play, I freaking hate the catch system in Gen 3, by the way. Well, it's always a dick to me, of all people, and not anyone else, and I don't really get why. Maybe it's just me. But, I swear to God, I may be reminded of that one time. That one time I freaking had to go and... And take an hour on Groudon. An hour. That just really made me hate, hate the capture system, the catching system in Gen 3 so bad. And I kind of wanted to skip out on this, on this thing, but I didn't really have any spin-offs I wanted to do. Plus, plus, I'm kind of, sort of, not really known for doing the main series Pokemon games, because those are my most popular, but Jesus. Ah. <sighs> I kind of sort of didn't want to do this, but I didn't have any other Pokemon games to do at the time, so whoopsie dupes, or planned at this point. So, you know, I might as well go for the old, for the age old, like, remake switcheroo, but who cares? I'm not catching this thing one bit, apparently. Because Recover sucks. It's just that fact, okay? It's just a common fact of life that Recover freaking sucks. And recover on legendary should die in a fire with everything that they have, including their own, including their wives, their husbands, or whatever. Legendary Pokemon are genderless. They are genderless. 
So I don't freaking care if they have wives or, or whatever they're into. Alright, come on, Ultra Balls! You can do it! You cannot do it, apparently. Huh. See, this is precisely what I'm talking about. Nearly every single one of my Ultra Balls fail, except for one. Or two. Or th two. Yeah, two. All but two of my Ultra Balls failed. See, see, this is what I'm talking about here. I mean, if this was any other Pokemon game, if this was any other Pokemon game that has legendaries that are kind of sort of hard to catch, I probably would still be here, but at least it would take like three, three or four minutes down, or left, but in this game, oh no siree, it doesn't work that way. I have to deal with this. This is what I have to deal with. I have to deal with this. Anyway, I don't really want to freaking make my Pokemon all dead-ish or anything, so I'm going to revive Volcano here, so... Yeah! I really don't have much of a choice. I didn't really get any healing items. I didn't really get any sort of prepared with Healy, item, with Healy items whatsoever. Yeah, I said Healy. Shut up. Adachi. And... Yeah, I don't really... You can't use a bicycle on a legendary! You're so silly. Ah, what the frick. Well, at least you're like a sliver of a health there, and you're paralyzed, and you're still getting zero shakes, or one shake, or two, or three. Come on. Damn, the son of a... Okay. I swear to God. I swear to Christ. If the game pulls that shit one more time, or at least Swift's, or at least Swift's attack power got lowered again. At least I can be thankful for that, for that little tip. I'm still freaking pissed off that that this could have been over, but no surgery. It apparently has to freaking fail all the time because it just does. Ah. Uh... I mean, I could literally count numerous times, like, I mean, going back to the whole Gen 3 catch system and anything, I can count, like, numerous times, no matter what Gen 3 game I'm playing. No matter what Gen 3 game I'm playing, I'm always bound to get at least three shakes, and then, nope, doesn't catch, because this game hates me, and I freaking hate this thing. <laughs> Now do you see why I carried over a hunt over 400 different types of Pokeballs with me? Now do you see? If you clearly don't see, then you're obviously blind. Or not. You're blind to my anger at this system a lot. Pfft. Yeah. Because that happens. Anyway, I think Safeguard is like the only move Mewtwo has left. But obviously, I have to catch it. It's obviously required that I have to catch Mewtwo, right? I mean, after all, this is a this is a Gen 1 slash 3 LP. So, obviously, I have to catch it. Because it's Mewtwo, man. The OG original, son. And, obviously, I have to go with it. But, but if I can't... But, again, I'm sorry, kids. But if I can't catch it, then... Whoopsie diddle do! I fail at life! Go burn me at the stake if you will! See if I freaking care! I don't care! I don't care! You were expecting me to say I care immensely, did you? No! Of course I don't care immensely! Because this game catch system sucks butt! Ha! <sighs> And I'm out of uh, strengths. So that means I have to rely on Double Edge. Well, thankfully, I don't think Mewtwo has any uh, psychic uses left. But of course, what it does have is recover uses. And you know what? Screw it. I don't care. I'm you. I'm 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 utilizing these Ultra Balls, and I feel like because I feel like it. Maybe there's like a slightly 1.111 1 or, or 0.0000001 chance that it might work. 
in my favor. If it doesn't work, then oh freaking well. I might as well use my freaking Master Ball to get this over with. But again, that's only mainly because, well, I may have to freaking have to use it. Pfft. Yeah. So anyway, he's using Recover a lot. I guess I guess Recover is like only his, uh, his only move left, really. I don't really know. You probably... You guys are probably all sick of this theme now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you guys are all probably sick of this theme by now, but let me tell you, this is how it goes. Do! Yeah, I said do. Shut up, Adachi. I need to get Persona 4 Golden, man. I, I, I'm seriously obsessed with Persona 4 now, I swear to Christ. I swear to Christ, if I'm eh, if I don't get a Vita by the end of this year, I will go insane. That is also accounting on the fact if I actually LP Persona 4 Golden because I wanna. Persona 4 Golden confirmed. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a Mewtwo fight. And you know what? At this point, I don't even freaking care. Wait a minute. No. No. There's much bigger fish. There's much bigger fish to fry than just wasting it on a friggin'. Than wasting it on a friggin' Mewtwo. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know, he has safeguard and. and recover left? Okay, I guess that's. I guess that kind of makes sense. Ah, okay, I guess now's the point in time when I actually finally freaking cut out these things in in a successful go. Again, probable off chance that I may catch it here. Now Oh, you son of a douche. I weak you I weaken you like once and you don't freaking work. Of course you don't. Because you freaking don't. One do one da so, 100 Pokeball Ultra Balls on the wall. 99 Ultra Balls. You take one out, you throw it, and it breaks free. 98 Ultra Balls on the wall, wall, wall. 98 Ultra Balls on the wall. 98 Ultra Balls. You toss one in, it actually breaks free for no reason, and Mewtwo last recover. <laughs> Something, something, Ultra Ball's on the wall. Hey kids, let's try a Pokeball to see if it works better. And of course I know it will. And of course it doesn't work as well. Huh. I guess I might as well be using Pokeballs from now on. <laughs> okay, maybe not. One, two, three, six! Okay, I probably should have. Uh, now that I've actually started weakening it, now it's the point where where the game starts to get forgiving for me. The game has actually started to make some respect for me. It's like, it's like, oh, I see you're suffering. Oh, well, I might as well show you for you. Sick. Ah. And this is how painful it gets, kids. One, two, three. Nom 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 nom. One, two. Persona. Okay, now's the point where it starts to get struggle. Struggle. But you know what? Just like with Latias, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, I don't freaking care. You know what, you two? One. Yeah, just ah. Uh. Okay, so one. Okay, <laughs> I swear to God, if it actually catches this, I, I will be freaking amazed. And of course, it didn't because my thing ran out of everything. One. Ah. Uh. One. 
No, actually, that's not one. That's actually... Two. Wow! <laughs> you know what? At this point in time, I always thought struggle was like... One... I always thought struggle was like 100% accuracy no matter what. I guess today I was proven wrong on this fact. Yeah, seriously, look at that. Look at that. I wasted almost all of my Ultra Balls trying to catch this thing. And you know what? I've been recording this for o for over a half an hour. Yeah. I've been recording this for over a half an hour. This is what I'm talking about. One, two. Seriously. This is what I'm talking about. This is this this this, this, this is stressful. This is this this, blah, 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 blah. this catch system hurts me. And I I freaking I I I I I I I uh... I think this thing has broken me. One, two, three. But yeah, this this this. This just, this just sucks. I mean, like, on legendaries, obviously, but... I mean, like, I'm only specifically talking about the catch systems on legendaries, though, because they're jerks to me. Not with every other Pokemon I'm trying to capture, except for those with, with, high, with lower catch rates. But... You have to understand, these catch rates are 3%. Yeah, I'm not kidding. 3% catch rates. Yeah. So if you're expecting this to be a long video, then too bad. One, boo. And you know, and you know what? You know what I gotta say to you? Don't motherfucker, you don't belong in this world! Bah! There, struggle yourself to death. I don't care. I don't care if it's Mewtwo. I don't care if everyone likes Mewtwo. I'm killing this thing because I've been here for over half an hour and I want to freaking stop! There you go, dying of fire. Anyway, now that we have all that settled, I can freaking get out of here. And now I actually have a special surprise in store for you! In the next episode, we're actually not going to be going... We're actually not going to be participating in Elite Four rematches. Because for one thing, I am not ready yet. For another thing, actually... I actually have a little bit of a special thing to show you. Because, this next one, we're going to be catching legendaries. Like, okay, screw it, I'm going to kill these things. I don't care. I don't care. Now, I'm the legendary killer. Because it, because the catch rate system sucks and I don't want to deal with it anymore. So, next time, it's time for some <laughs> event legendaries. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and I deeply apologize, but I don't care. I will not accept your apology if you're if you're really gonna bitch bitch at me about oh you killed Mewtwo. I don't care. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye. This is gonna be a long video to cut out.